Hello everybody and welcome to our first video of Unit 5 which will be about triangles. In this first video we'll be talking about the triangle sum theorem. The learning goal is that you'll be able to apply the sum of the angles in a triangle. Now this is probably something that you've already learned in previous math classes in middle school. You could probably fill in the blank before I do. The sum of the measures of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. Now, I should also tell you how we name a triangle in geometry, just like we've named other things. So, we name a triangle using the three vertex letters. Each vertex is the corner of a triangle. Okay? So let's just say that the, this triangle has vertices A, B, and C. So in this case, this would be called triangle A, B, C. Notice the triangle symbol in front. So we use those three letters. Okay, now my next question is, do you know why the angles in a triangle add up to 180? Well, hmm. So let's look at this triangle here, triangle A, B, C. And I'm going to draw a line that goes through A and is parallel to the other side, BC. There. And I'll even add the little extra arrow marks to show that those lines are parallel. Okay. Using that parallel line, we can figure out that the angles of the triangle add up to 180 degrees. So, if you take a look, so let's call this angle 1 here and this angle 2, and this angle 3. Because these are parallel lines, I know the angle 2 is congruent to this angle up here. Likewise, I know the angle 3 is congruent to this angle up here. Alright, and now then, what do you know about all three of those angles? Well, they do add up to a straight angle, which is 180 degrees. So there you go. That's why the angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. Alright, so let's just look at a few examples. We're going to start off with a really basic one that you guys could probably already do. So here it says, find the measure of angle Q. Well, because the angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees, this is as simple as adding the 66 and the 37. Okay, that would make 103. Then subtracting to figure out how much is left with from 180. That would be 77 degrees. So, measure of angle Q is 77 degrees. Oh, that wasn't hard, was it? Okay, so, now what about this? So, we're given a triangle here, but the measures of the angles are expressions in terms of x. So, we need some kind of equation so that we can solve for x, so we can figure out what the measure of each angle is. Well, what do we know about these angles? Well, we know that all three of the angles add up to 180 degrees. So how can I write an equation that says that? Well, that would be 3x plus x plus x plus 40 has to make 180. There, I have an equation. Here I have three different angles that are adding up to 180 degrees. Okay, so solving that, I would combine like terms, making 5x. Okay, subtracting 40 from both sides, I would get 5x equals 140. Then, dividing both sides by 5, I would get a value of x that is 28. Am I done? No, the question asks us to find the measure of each angle in the triangle. Hopefully you guys are used to this by now, that we need to take our value for x and plug it in. Okay, so, hey, I already know the value of, or the measure of angle s. That just must be 28 degrees. Okay, then the measure of r is 3 times 28 degrees, so that's 84 degrees. Then... T would be 28 degrees plus 40, and so that would be 68 degrees. Hmm, okay. And if you ever wanted to check, 
you could add all of those up and just verify that they make 180 degrees. Okay, so let's keep going. Here's one final example. We're asked to find the value of x. Hmm, think about this one for a little bit. Maybe even pause the video and see if you can figure out what strategy we could use to figure out the value of x. There's two possible ways that I could conceive that you might think about this. One way would be to figure out the measure of this angle right here, knowing that the angles in this triangle add up to 180. We know that these are a linear pair here, so I could figure out the measure of that angle by subtracting from 180. Then finally, I could figure out the value of x by subtracting by adding this angle and that one and subtracting from 180. That's a very possible method. However, I want to encourage you to think outside the box on this one. Consider that there's also a big size triangle in this picture. So, we could use this one to find the value of x. The angles in that triangle have to add up to 180 also, don't they? Combining these two angles, that means the angle of the large triangle is 77 degrees. We just used our angle addition postulate. Okay, now I could figure out the value of x. I can add 69 and 77, which would give me 148. Then subtract that value from 180, and we would get 32. So, the value of x is 32. Hmm. See if you can figure out the values of these other angles right here, and see if it makes sense. Alright, so that concludes this video. I guess I'll see you guys in class.